Hey guys, welcome to iMyPhone channel. In this video, I'll review four ways that claim to be able to transfer WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone. I will show you whether these ways work well or not. In the first part, I will go through the three free ways mentioned in many online articles. The first one is to use local backup to back up and restore WhatsApp chats from Android to iPhone. The second one is to use Google Drive to transfer WhatsApp from Android to iPhone. And the third one is to use the WhatsApp export chat function to transfer. If you are only interested in one of them, just navigate to the very chapter by clicking the scrubber bar down there. In the second part, I will introduce a much more efficient way of transferring all your WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone, which is not free, but worth a try. A 20% discount will be offered to you guys at the end of this part. Now let's start with the first method. We all know that WhatsApp can be backed up locally on Android phones. If you would like to restore the most recent backup, reinstall WhatsApp, and it will ask you if you would like to restore the backup after logging in. Some say that it also works when transferring from Android to iPhone. Let's see if it does. As you can see, there are some messages, emoji, images, and videos in these chats. I will make a local backup on Android and then uninstall the WhatsApp. Install the app on the iPhone. Log into the same account as is the one on the Android. We can see that it didn't work. My iPhone says that there is no backup found on iCloud. And there isn't any backup restored to my iPhone. Because the local backup is stored on the Android phone, it won't be automatically transferred to the iPhone, even if you use the same WhatsApp account. Here comes the second method. It is said to Will be able to transfer WhatsApp from Android to iPhone by using Google Drive Backup. I will backup my WhatsApp data from Android to Google Drive and then check the last backup to confirm that we did backup to Google Drive successfully. Then uninstall WhatsApp on Android and install it on iPhone. Now, log into the same WhatsApp account as is the one on the Android. We can see that there is no prompt for restoring the backup from Google Drive, only a message about the backup not found on iCloud. Because of the differences between iOS and Android operating systems, the WhatsApp data cannot be transferred directly from Android to iPhone through Google Drive. We will use the export chat function of WhatsApp to do the transfer. Chats can only be transferred one by one. So it will be time consuming if you want to transfer all your WhatsApp chats to the iPhone. Choose the chat that you would like to transfer on your Android phone. I will choose this one. Click on the three dots in the upper right corner and then more export chat. Normally, I will click on include media, even though it will reduce the number of WhatsApp messages I can export from 40,000 to 10,000. But if you click on without media, the chat will be exported as a text file. From here, choose the app you can easily access on your iPhone. 
most people will choose a mail or cloud drive service. I will choose email because I can receive emails on my iPhone. We can see that the chat is exported with the chat log and all the media files attached separately. Fill in the recipient, your email address, and send. Now go to the iPhone and check the email sent from the Android. It will take quite long if we wait for the email, so I will show you one of the ones I exported before. Keep going through the same process if you have more chats to transfer. However, we cannot import the chat log in the media files back into the WhatsApp chat this way. If you would like to access the data in WhatsApp as real chats, the next method will do. So the three methods that I have shown you are all free ways that are said to be able to transfer WhatsApp chats from Android to iPhone. And the only method that does the job is the export chat function, albeit with a few drawbacks. Now I'll show you the last but really feasible method of migrating all the WhatsApp data directly from Android to iPhone. I will be using iTransor for WhatsApp, which is specifically designed for WhatsApp data management, including WhatsApp and WhatsApp business backup, restore, export, and transfer. You can download the program directly from the link in the description. Before we start, let's have a look at the messages on the Android phone so we can check if all the WhatsApp data have been transferred. We will need a computer and two USB cables to connect both phones to the computer. After connecting to the program, click on Transfer and choose WhatsApp Messenger. The program will automatically process the WhatsApp data step by step. The whole process will last from minutes to hours depending on the amount of data. Now the program has finished transferring the WhatsApp data. The iPhone will reboot. Don't worry, all the data on the iPhone will remain the same. Log in to the same WhatsApp account as the one on Android. The WhatsApp on Android should have been automatically logged out, but due to the slow internet here, it didn't log out. This is quite great, actually. We can directly check if the data is the same before and after the transfer. All the chats are the same as they were on the Android. The reason we cannot transfer WhatsApp from Android to iPhone directly is the types of data are different in these two operating systems iTransor for WhatsApp processes the WhatsApp data from Android to match the type of data on iPhone, so that we can access the Android WhatsApp data on iPhone. If you are interested in this program, download it directly from the link in the description. Use this coupon code to get 20% off. You can also copy the coupon code directly from the comment area. So that's it! Thank you guys for watching this video! If it helps you, give us a thumbs up. Feel free to leave questions or comments below. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to get immediate updates on new videos about WhatsApp.